I'm going to show you how to use autotune the right way. Trust me, this is going to be exquisite. You don't need to have a fancy voice to use autotune. Fuck this shit. All you need is a digital audio workstation. Workstation? Just a fancy word to say software, just like FL Studio. All right, let's get it. I had to record this video about three times because the audio was not recording and then the screen was not recording. That's why my outfit is different. Please leave a like for the support. Just so you know, we'll be looking at two different autotune. One free is called Picture on FL Studio. And the second one is paid one from Waves. It's called Waves Tune Real Time. So really good autotune. We'll go compare both of them and see pretty much if really there's a difference and uh, which choice should be the best for you if by the way you're interested in more of this content i have a whole playlist where i show you everything you need to know about being an artist you can check this playlist right now if you want the first thing you absolutely need to know when trying to set up your autotune is you need to find the key of the beat you're using ideally you want to record your verse with your autotune and all the effects that you got and in order to actually do that you need to have your autotune on key with the beat it's super important how you do it you open up fl keys all you want to do is simply try to find Find the key that sounds good with the beat. That's all you need to do for now. Hey, June. Got the waves. Let's try to play all the other keys and see if they're on key. Hey, Doesn't sound good. June. You gotta make sure when you play them at the same time, it sounds right. Once you found the key, what you need to do is go find the scale. All you need to do really is major and minor natural. That's all you really need to know. You basically need to align the scale exactly where the right notes you selected are. So as you can see here, this is the major scale. Right here is exactly where the notes are. As you can see, A sharp and A sharp right here. So we know that this beat is in scale major A sharp. Now let's try to put a minor. All right, so this is where the minor key goes according to the scale, if it all fits. So G and G, A and A. So we know that this is a minor G scale and this is a major A sharp. If you have like a happy, joyful beat, most likely it's a major scale. If you have a sad, depressing vibe, most likely it's going to be a minor. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with a major A sharp. When I open up picture, which is the free version auto tune, I'm going to put the scale that I've chosen here. So we said it was major A sharp. So I'm going to come here on major and I'm going to select A sharp. So far on the auto tune, the scale is set. When you're using picture, or any other auto tune, there's only a few buttons that you actually need to care about. So there's the scale, what key is the song? So we chose major A sharp. Then it's going to be the retune speed, like how fast is the auto tune putting your voice on key? The gender that I believe this is the range of the voice. So if you have a lower voice or a higher voice, and I'll touch more into the HZ. This is more when you have like a song that is detuned. I want to show you this song that I made a while back, never really released it. It has no effects besides EQs and compressors and all that. So I want to show you what it sounds like with no auto tune so we can then compare with and compare between the two other I just pull a hop, I skip on the lanes Jibbing is on the good food on my plate I try to go make it right, make it rain Made decision, had to make it a change Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty trash It's uh, pretty tragic too It doesn't sound good, bro It just, it's so like, so trash, bro I don't know how to explain it. It's like so flat, it's not good it's, You know what I'm saying? You need that auto tune to come and fix that issue And this is where we have picture Depending on your goal when you're adding auto tune You're gonna decide how fast you want your retune speed to be Do you want a fast retune speed? Which means that it's super robotic or do you want like a slower, a bit more realistic? And you can always find like the medium here or find medium fast, medium slow. I'm gonna put a slow auto tune and let's see the difference. I just pull a hop, I skip funny lanes. Jibbing is on the good food on my plate. I try to go make it right, make it rain. Made a decision, had to make it a change. It's barely noticeable when you put on picture, but it depends on you, really. If you got a beautiful voice, you want to let your voice shine, and you don't want this sort of robotic effect, you can play around with the medium slow. Let's hear it on a fast retune speed and see the difference. I just pull a hop, I skip funny lanes. Jibbing is on the good food on my plate. I try to go make it right, make it rain. Made a decision, had to make it a change. Too many times I done spent with my bitch. I'm fucking with you, but I'm trying to be rich. Definitely, there's a massive difference here. You can tell that the auto tune is really pushing the voice onto the scale that we set, which is major A sharp. When you're recording, you really want to make sure you set your preset that you're comfortable with. Try to set like a, a setting that is good with you. Really simple. You set your the song key so you make sure you don't sing off key. You set your retune speed. 
speed, make sure you set on average where your voice range at. Don't touch the fine tune. You don't need to touch to all, none of the rest. Basically all these three. I want to show you now on a paid auto tune. What's the difference between like a waves tune and a pitcher? As you can see, you have speed, which is the same thing as the pitcher, the speed here, which is once again, how fast is your voice being auto tuned on the scale that you're setting it? No transition is something that I don't believe pitcher has, but it's basically like how fast do you want the transition from one note to the other to be? So if you sing, let's say like, uh, how fast do you want this uh, to be from uh, Okay, I look stupid, but like how fast does it go from one sound to another, one sound to another? That's the note transition. So you can make it super fast where it sounds super choppy and laggy, or you can make it more realistic. You basically need to play around between the speed and the note transition to find the great balance. I don't usually touch the sense, the time. The only things you need, once again, is the range here. If you have like a really deep voice, most likely you want to play in baritone. If you have an average, basic, you want to play in tenor or alto, you use like the higher side. If you're not really sure of your type of voice, you can always put it on G. Generic. And most importantly is the scale once again. As I showed you earlier, it was major A sharp, so I just put it here. You'll notice there's so many scales. All you need to care about is major and natural minor. I don't usually touch the other one. Let's hear now once with the pitcher and once with the waves tune. Let's see if there's a difference. So right now, this is with the pitcher full speed. I just pull a hop, I on the lanes. Chipping is on the good foot on my plane. Now let's go on waves tune. This is a paid auto tune. I just pull a hop, I on the lanes Chipping is on the good foot on my plate As you notice, there's not that big of a difference Honestly, if you have picture, in my opinion You have a really good auto-tune plugin You don't really need to go out and buy Waves Waves obviously gives you more control Which is always really fucking dope Picture is just straightforward And really, you have to find the right balance between your mixing Which I'm gonna make a video on how I mix my songs Stay tuned for that If it's already out, you can click it right here If not, it's gonna be on a playlist That I will link for you guys in the description But so far, picture is a really great auto-tune Tune, as you can see there's not that big of a difference with waves and pictures as i told you i want to talk more about the 440 hertz here show you guys what happened if you are in a situation where you cannot find the key of a song let me show you an example i loaded another project and i want to show you what if you cannot find the scale of your song because some producer they detune their song let me show you an example of what i mean if i go here on this fl key fl piano and i want to find the key of the song so let's try to find it I went all the way through here, I couldn't find the key. This is because this song is detuned. So in order to adjust it, you need to detune your piano, either right or left, figure out like how is it detuned and find the right balance. So let's do that. So you see, so as you can see, around 40 cents, now the piano sounds good. The reason you need to do that is because if you are using a detuned song and you're going to detune the piano to find the scale of the song, you absolutely need to detune the auto-tune as well. Otherwise, it's going to sound terrible. Let me show you. Let's find the key of the song. Let's listen to the other keys just to make sure. Clearly, these others sound off. So these are the right key for this particular song. As always, we're going to open a major scale and try to find. All right. So A sharp, A sharp, C, D, D sharp. All right. So this is a major A sharp song. Okay. So thankfully, it's the same as the other one. This scale is in major A sharp. So let's find the minor now. This is G, A, G, A, A sharp, G, A, and A sharp. All right. So this is once again a major A sharp and a minor G. So once again, in order to find if it's a the major or minor, is this song a bit happy or joyful or is this song sad depressing i'd say this one is a bit more like subtle and sad but i'll say it's a minor g for this one we found the scale by detuning the piano because the beat in the song was detuned i'm gonna go here minor all right minor g so now we find a key now here's the problem if you don't detune the auto tune this is what it's gonna sound like Yeah, this is horrible. This is fucking garbage, bro. This is trash, okay? But how? Mo, why is it trash? We found the right key, minor G. Let me tell you why, boy. This is ass because you need to play around with the detune. By default, every auto tune is going to load 440 hertz. You just need to play around. Is it going to be 450, 445, 435, 430? You just need to figure it out. I'm going to go 450. So I played around with this frequency. Now let's listen to it again. Uh -uh. I 
Yeah. Okay, clearly I'm fucking mumbling in this song. I literally just recorded this shit, bro. Like for the sake of this video, okay? No, no hate, please. But yeah, I'm fucking. I don't even know what I'm saying, that ass. You basically need to figure out where is it gonna sound the best, and you just tweak it like that. So now let's try to listen to it with Waves Tune. So this is default. Let's listen to it. This is ass, bro. This is fucking garbage. Fucking trash, bro. So let's put 450 now. Let's fix it. So you can definitely tell there's a massive difference. Most songs don't have detune effect, but you gotta be aware if you hear a song as a bit detuned, you'll know by the time you try to find the scale, you'll know, oh shit, why does it sound weird a little bit? I can't find the key. Then you detune it a little bit and you'll figure out why. You'll notice if you try to save with picture, it's gonna say something like it's in trial version and you need to buy. I wanna show you a way that you can kind of bypass that. What I need to do is select the sequence that I want to record. So let's say I have a full song, you know, you just select it all. Then you go on this arrow here you go on tools consolidate from selection start and you press start what's going to happen is going to create a second audio clip that audio clip is going to include every single effect that were in this one right here it's going to copy it into a new audio clip which means that you can come here deactivate picture and press play uh, 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 and you still hear the auto tune so you still have the auto tune on this uh, that's basically how you can actually get auto-tune for free in a sense. Trust me, yo, forget the stigma of auto-tune is for people who can't rap or whatever. Yo, dude, you need auto-tune, bro. It's like the industry standards, your favorite artists use auto-tune. There's a couple who don't. These are like exceptional artists who know how to layer their vocals in harmony. Somebody like Billie Eilish. But your favorite rappers, they all use pitch correction. It's essential tool if you know how to use it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, bro. I would really appreciate that. I try my best to stay consistent and give you guys some great value. Then you Boy, I'm the goat sitting on a boat and I'm out.